remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? An MTA bus driver in Brooklyn spit on a woman after she refused to fold her baby's stroller and got off the bus. This sucker actually got off the bus and ran up behind the woman as she was hurling insults at him. And he spit on her, turned and ran back toward the bus. As he's running to get back on the bus, the guy who was filming is questioning him as to why he spit on her. I don't get why he was questioning the dude. Why not just take off on him? Now, I know a lot of you dudes out there, y'all like, man, you shouldn't get in people business. You know, people crazy. You know, people ain't as crazy as you think they are. A lot of things that people do that's considered crazy is because they feel they won't be checked. They feel that they can get away with it. When my stepfather had the audacity to put his hands on my mama one day, I promptly told him a new asshole. Before that day, everybody was talking about how crazy he is. He got a plate in his head. He was in the army and he crazy. After I lit his ass up, he was the nicest guy in the neighborhood. And it was like a new house or something. Like people started coming to my mama house again, visiting, and there was laughter and smiles and all kind of stuff. Sometimes people just need a good ass whooping. Again, I said it once, I said it again. We can't afford to not get involved. We can't afford to not look out for each other. I don't think we want to live in a society where men can just take off on women whenever they want, do anything that they want to do, to our women, even children, even other men, and just bounce, get away with it. Because guess what? Sooner or later, maybe you can protect yourself. Maybe you mind your own business, so you thinking, just because I mind my own business, ain't nothing never going to happen to me. Ain't nobody never going to violate me. Nobody's ever going to tread on my rights. Maybe that works for you. But one of these days, one of your relatives or loved ones might be out of pocket. They may be totally innocent and somebody might do something like that to them. Wouldn't you want somebody to step up and protect them? Can you imagine yourself hearing about a family member that got beat down and people were standing around and nobody did nothing? Wouldn't that really just enrage the hell out of you? Like, damn, you know, you find, you start getting as details pour in. You find out it was people there. It was other men standing around. Nobody did anything but filmed. Wouldn't that piss you off? This is why I would get involved. Call me crazy if you want to. But I don't want to live in that type of society where our women are just scared to death, just can't even move. It's already, it's getting like that already. And that is because we got so many coward ass men. Straight across the board. Cowards everywhere you look, just fucking cowards. But they won't respect at the same time. They want to be treated like a man. Treat me like a man. But at the same time, they're acting like cowards. Now I get it. You can't jump into everybody's mix. I get that. That's not what I'm saying. Sometimes some women are attracted to drama. Sometimes some women throw themselves under the bus. They do it to themselves. Some women like absolutely love drama. 
Some women will create that type of atmosphere. And some women are bullies. Some women go around pushing people around, putting their hands on folks and all that stuff. If that's the case, then you got to fall back. You can't put yourself in that type of situation because what happens? Invariably, you inject yourself in a situation, you end up in jail, perhaps a cemetery, hospital, and she's right back at it later on the same day. So you have to be cautious. Every situation has to be looked at on an individual basis. But we got to get more involved, man. We can't just be sitting around filming stuff while our women get disrespected and brutalized. We got to inject ourselves into it. We got to do it, if not for ourselves, maybe we don't have a, a girlfriend. Maybe, you don't not, maybe you're not married. You got to do it for your sisters. You got to do it for your, 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 your daughters, you know? Even if your daughter is an infant, one of these days, she's going to be a teenager. She's going to be a young woman. She's going to be an old woman if she lived long enough. The way we set it up for them today is the way tomorrow is going to be. What we allow people to do to our women today is going to be a reflection of how our women are treated in the future. That's the way it is. Now, what kind of world you want to live in? Dude just showed us how to lose your job in one, two, three seconds. He out of here. More than likely, the old girl is going to sue him. She's definitely going to sue uh, the Metropolitan Transit Authority, MTA. She's definitely going to sue them. And she'll probably even sue the city. So, so he loses his job. And now he puts himself in a position to where he is going to have to, where he's compromised his ability to uh, finance his livelihood. Probably even have responsibilities with children at home or a woman. And now he's compromised that. All because he got off that bus and ran up on that woman and spit on her. What happened to the days when being a bus driver was actually a respectable job? I remember those days. What happened, family? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?